Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. Today we are going to continue our uh, Silent Tomb series with an amazing and effective piece, an archway. But uh, this is not just an archway, I want to dedicate this piece to my best patron ever. So this is for you, Torgeir Johansen, and this will be the Torgeir Archway. Crack on! I used uh, a couple of pieces that maybe you will have some difficult to find because uh, I work in a, a, a scientific laboratory so we have a lot of these you know expired kits and expired uh, plastics and stuff like that so I used the uh, you know these little columns that actually also are, are called columns in lab for creating columns uh, you can easily easily change those pieces with some you know uh, paper chipboard cardboard rolling on so you can you know substitute that the best i think are uh, these big fat pencils and stuff like that okay so yeah you must be a little bit creative for so substitute these pieces or you can go in some uh, you know research lab and ask for some expired supplies for sure they will have something okay this piece was uh, highly inspired by ophidian archway of uh, game workshop that is actually a masterpiece created by some artist okay this piece is amazing a lot of you know incisions and uh, details and stuff like that is in uh, hard plastic so it's very heavy fully detailed okay uh, but this is quite too much for uh, you know a tomb entrance so i wanted to take inspiration and create something ancient ruined simpler but fully detailed also so i put these uh, statues uh, check i put the link uh, on the description box below those are uh, statues from uh, ziterbes.com actually these are not original statues because uh, i'm uh, trying to you know, uh, put my hand on the on, on the molding stuff. I show you. They come from these. These are uh, front and back molds. So I put resin inside and I create the two pieces that then I put together. Uh, this will be maybe a tutorial in uh, the next month. Okay, so if you are interested, check it out. And stay tuned. So you have statues, you have uh, skulls from Game Workshop uh, skull sets, and uh, yes, of course, uh, it's very interesting because I keep this idea to have a first floor tile here, so you have actually two level floor pieces for play. It's uh, it's quite quite nice. Uh, I colored it uh, by my airbrush, but you can for sure color it just by your normal brush, and uh, yeah was quite fun and quite exciting to build this. Let's do it together. See you in a bit. The first part of the work is design. Starting from the Ophidian archway, I made a shape out of a nice piece of foam, dividing it in two thanks to the proxim. With a little patience, I looked for the ideal spot to open the archway. Also, for the two arched windows of the raised floor, just like in the piece of Game Workshop. Thank you. 
Once satisfied by lines and circles, I switched to the Proxon, where uh, with a little bit of uh, experience and practice, I managed to get the two windows. You can do it also with an exacto knife, but like that is much, much easier. At this point, I used my plastic uh, columns. You can use rolled cardboard, balsa wood or even uh, fat colored pencils to get the same effect. I have combined two semicolumns at the ends to create a complete one to be used for the archway, a couple of them. As for the windows, I obtained the archway thanks to the proxon. And uh, at this point I pasted the columns and uh, went to the next step, the brickwork. The intention is to show part of a partially ruined building, so with brick parts and parts coated with stucco or similar stuff. Obviously, the architecture of the bricks must enhance the shape of the arches, which is why I give particular importance to the contours of the arch and windows. For my brickwork technique, check out my tutorial number 3, as usual. From the beginning I wanted to add some uh, scenographic elements to this piece to increase its visual impact. I created two small pedestals with foam to accommodate the statues. Check the link for the statues in the description box below.
The mezzanine floor is shamelessly copied from the Game Workshop piece. I had a 4x4 inch style, which I cut into two pieces and glued at the right height. For the texture of the walls, I used the PVA glue and the fine sand. This is not only ideal for creating a stucco coating effect, but it also has a very particular color that I like to use in the painting phases. At this point I inserted four large screws at the base to increase the weight and stability to the piece. A third column is now added to support the elevated walkway. and uh, everything is placed on a graphics medium chipboard, which is ideal as a base. To avoid uh, cardboard warping, I apply strips of hot glue to the base. Details. I inserted three large hornet skulls from the Games Workshop set to give a more interesting look to the piece. Still taking inspiration from the Ophidian archway, I ruined one of the ends of the walkway, accumulating the rubble at the base.
Paint Time, a layer of acrylic black paint, different shades of brown, I also used shades of green and a dry brush with warm grey. Accentuating everything with flocking to get a realistic moss effect. Beyond the forest, where mountains form the veil of the black moon, the passage to the silent tomb opens. The Torgeus archway rises like an ancient warning. Will you be so brave to cross it? Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you very like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, happy crafting!